Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is one of my favorite Bolo videos because I'm going to share with you my big money Bolos. And I love every cha ching, but those big money Bolo cha chings are the best. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I think some of these are going to impress you a little bit because, uh, they kind of impress me. All right, thanks for being here. My name is Courtney and I'm gonna share my bolo items with you. This is a what sold video. All right, so the first item I sold is, and if you're, if you're new here, you're not gonna know about this, but if you've been at my channel for a while, you are definitely gonna know about the Berkham Bunny. This is like an epic story. I went to a garage sale, I think I got 32 of these and guess what? I have one left. I actually have two left, but I decided to hang on to one. My husband and I were talking about it and we're like, we should really keep one of those bunnies. Um, so I have one left to sell. This person bought three of my Berkham bunnies, three of them for a total of $254.97 plus tax and shipping. They were all in for $312. So let me tell you a little bit about this bunny in case you ever come across them and get so lucky. Um, I don't think I sold any of them for under 70. Most of them sold for a hundred a piece. And I think I paid, I want to say I paid $10 for 32 of them. I can't recall, but I told the whole story over on primetime treasure hunters thrift battle between Donatella Bottolino and I. So if you want the details, go check it out. Here is the print, and I told the story behind it, all of the stuff about the Berkham Bunny. I had no idea it was going to be a big money bolo when I picked this up. Um, here's the other one. This one's blue. Some of them were so pretty. Um, these three were just kind of, you know, more of the plain colors, but just one of my best finds ever. So just just super fun made thousands of dollars on these and i i really didn't know it was a lucky it was a lucky find i honestly figured i was going to get these home and i was going to sit on them forever now i will say that um i have held out for the right buyers and i would not go under 70 dollars, and that has made them be some of them a little bit long tail i want to say that was probably a year and a half two years ago when i was on primetime treasure hunters channel so um, but most of them sold more quickly. These, these guys were kind of hanging around, which is why I took the two fifty four ninety seven. All right. So those are the Berkham bunnies. Okay. Now mindful recycle. She sent me a box. It was a mystery box. She reached out to me on a uh, messenger and she's like, can I send you a gift? And I'm like, okay. She's like, I'm going to send you a mystery box. And she had like little clues and I had to guess what the item was. It was super fun. I have an unboxing on this channel, but um, you guys, she sent me a Bolo box. There were so many Bolo items in here. I sold an ET that was awesome. I, I have sold a bunch of the stuff, but definitely go check out that video. Please go subscribe to Terry Mindful Recycle. I'm not telling you that because she sent me a Bolo box. I'm telling you that because she is a Bolo finder amazing. Her channel is amazing. I wish she put out more content, um, but check her out. You will not be sorry. You're going to love her channel. Oh, did I forget to pull up the item? Oh, no, nope, here it is. I was like, where's the item? So this is one of the items that was in my box. And I believe that it would have sold a lot quicker, but I had it priced really high because I couldn't find any comps. I had it listed at 150 um, had a 25% off sale going on, wasn't getting any action. Somebody offered me 75 bucks. So I ended up taking that and the buyer was all in for $90 and 95 cents. Um, so very cool briar horse. So thank you again, Terry, for my bolo box. Amazing. Um, this right here, I got this at a garage sale for $2. It is a perfume princess. And remember you guys, if you are ever shipping perfume. It does have to ship ground. Uh, this one, the box was damaged. It was from 1994. I ended up selling this doll for $48.75. The buyer was all in for $61.94. All in means with tax and shipping. The next item, just, I surprised myself with this one. I could not find a good comp and 
a comp is a comparable something um, like it that was listed that sold. I couldn't find one. So I just listed it high. I listed this guy at 75 bucks and it ended up selling on best offer for $60. The buyer was all in for $72.30. Uh, I got it at a garage sale on a bulk lot of items. I think I even listed this on one of my live shows over on my Bolo um, reseller testing Bolo products channel. That's where I do live listings. So that's linked down below if you guys want to join over there. But I got this for about 50 cents. So how cool is that? Would you have ever guessed? Let me know in the comments. Would you have walked right past it or would you have bought it? The next item are these frogs. Another item that most of you probably would have been like, nope, not listing it. They're damaged. This guy's missing an eye. The, uh, these are called flocked. The flocking, flocking, I don't know if that's a word, but the flocked part is coming off in so many areas. They've got condition issues. However, they are vintage. They are the Sylvanian families bull rush frogs they are a harder to find retired set and i got these at an estate sale in a bundle of calico critter items and i looked them up and i priced them high because they're hard to find and i sold these guys for 50 dollars. the buyer was all in for 58.87 my cost of goods was about a quarter for those the next item is this paul patrol set so you guys are going to love this story somebody buys it for 45 dollars. They ask me to cancel the order. I cancel the order. And then I think I was sending out offers the next day or something like that. And the same person bought it for $37 and 50 cents. And I'm like, what is going on? Like I already sold it to you for 45 and you canceled the order and then you buy it for 37 50. Oh, has that ever happened to anyone here? I know a lot of people block buyers when they cancel. Do you guys block buyers or I, I don't typically block them unless I have an issue. Like if somebody just asked to cancel an order, I typically just cancel. So I messaged the buyer and I'm like, did you buy this by mistake? And they're like, no, I changed my mind. And I'm like, okay. So I ended up shipping it out to them. I didn't sell it for 45 like I wanted to, but that's okay. 37.50 was still great. I paid two bucks for this at a garage sale and the buyer was all in for 61.90. Which, when you add that tax and shipping, that adds up. That's a lot of money. All right, these Fisher Price Little People cars. These came out of a mystery toy box that I purchased from Auctions for You YouTube channel. I do have her linked as well as Donatella Bottolino down below. I source from them on YouTube. If you're, uh, if you've been here on my channel a while, you guys know you've seen my unboxings. I get some really great stuff. But these ended up selling for a best offer of thirty-eight dollars plus shipping. The next item is this pendant. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents and I ended up selling it for $39. The buyer was all in for $47.13. It's vintage signed rainbow gold filled lady angel cameo. And you can see right here, it's got the writing on it. And then it says rainbow gold filled on the back. So just a cool little piece. I was able to find a comp on it and I priced it kind of high and it sold really fast. The next item is this vintage Martha Stork cookie cutter. This sat in my garage for probably over a year. It was in a Christmas mystery box from a thrift store. I had no clue that this was a big money bolo. This was another item that I, I listed over on my reseller testing bolo products during a live show. And, you know, I'm excited to tell you that I took a best offer of $125 on this Martha Stork by mail copper cookie cutter. It's a jolly snowman, and I'm going to say yes, it's jolly, because 125 bucks in my pocket, yes. Uh, all in for 142 on that one. These are vintage cards. Um, I think I picked these up at an estate sale or a garage sale. I'm not really sure. I was just like a bulk buy, but there were some really cute ones in here. Vintage cards, sometimes I sell them individually. Usually, I just lot them up like this. I sold these for $60 plus shipping. This Bigfoot, um, I recently featured this item over on Mountain Man Treasures uh, video. He had me come on and tell about what I recommend you do before you quit your full-time job. So I did that, but I had to share a bolo. And this was the bolo item I picked. So if you came over from Mountain Man Treasures uh, video, drop me a comment and let me know that. And everybody, if you're not following Mountain Man treasure definitely go follow him troy is fantastic he has an amazing channel and he just went full-time so he is going to be putting out more content 
and having more items up on eBay. So he is great. This Bigfoot, I believe it was $5 at a garage sale. And what I said on his video is, if you find this item and it doesn't work, you can sell just that Bigfoot remote. It will sell. You can also sell the charger. You can definitely part this guy out. You can even go as far as to sell the battery compartment cover. So Bigfoot, but I sold this working 150 bucks plus shipping. I love that. He is so cool. All right. Oops, did I miss? Yep, I missed one. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Well, I missed one. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it was a it was a toy, so apparently I didn't pull it up. So this is Katrin Mueller Mohair Jointed Bears. The same person bought all three of these. And if you want to know more about this, you can go over to my worth point video that says proof and i tell you why worth point is totally worth it and it has a little something to do with these bears right here so check out that video but this person ended up buying all three of these for a grand total of 325 dollars plus tax and shipping they were all in for 368.69 so i did come down on the price because they were buying all three of them look these are not very big let me see if i can here it is. That one's only like five inches. So I think it was like 70, 70 and the bigger one I sold for more. That one's about nine inches. This guy's bigger, but they are just really, really cool and collectible, but it did take the right buyer. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Anything like limited edition that is by an artist, definitely look those up. So that was a great find. I got those at a thrift store. I believe I have footage and in, it, it, it was a long tail item, you guys, for sure. Um, but it was at a thrift store and it was not like a Goodwill. And I negotiated down the price a little bit. So I can't remember exactly what I paid for these, but I, I did end up getting, I ended up doing well, but I wasn't sure if they were going to be a big money bolo or not until I brought them home and researched. I just knew that they were cool. Here's another uh, one of those eggs. I talked about these in one of my bread and butter videos. So some of these, uh, depending on what the print is, but here's what the inside looks like. They say Germany. They usually have some sort of print on the inside. Some are more rare than others. This one ended up selling for $45. I got it at a garage sale for four bucks. The buyer was all in for $53.84, but they are paper mache eggs. I definitely recommend you get those if you see them. Okay, this one came from auctions for you. I bought, I want to say it was this set, a Lego set, and a Playmobil set. And I sold the other Legos. I'm sorry, it was a Mega Bloks. It was a Dragon Mega Bloks. I sold it for $99. And I sold this one for a best offer of $265. Now, I purchased this. In, well, I didn't know. I didn't know if it was going to be complete or incomplete, but I knew that either way I could part it out. And I did a little search when she was showing it and I looked up that uh, 6762 Lego and I was like, oh my gosh, that is a big money bolo. Um, I hope it's complete. Well, it was not. So I was able to order some pieces, replacement pieces off of eBay but unfortunately, when I got them, the color was not a match. So what I purchased was probably a more modern. It was the same part, but probably from a modern set. This is an older set. So I was not able to locate the exact things, but I was able to put it together with those blocks. And I just disclosed that. Let me see if I can show you a picture that they didn't match, but they were there. You see how the, um, they're different colors. So I needed more of the brown and I ended up getting this color. So I still sold it for 265, but if this would have been complete, oh my goodness. And I cannot remember what I paid for those three, um, those three sets. But I'm, I think when I broke it down, I had about $40 in this set. So that was a great return on my money. So you can definitely pick up bolos on auction sites. This guy came out of a thrift store mystery box. It is Herb Braymeyer. He is local to this area. He is a artist. He hand carves these and they paint them. 
I think his wife paints them from what I heard. And I sold this for $54.99 plus shipping. And I actually sold this to somebody who lived in my town and I actually hand delivered it to him. So that was pretty cool. And she kind of told me the story behind the item. So I got some more information and talked to her for a while. So that was really, really cool. So I actually just found another one in um, my garage and I was going through some old stock of totes that I have. And I'm like, yes, another Herb Braemeyer. So I was really excited about that. Oh, and let me show you here. It's signed on the bottom. So whenever you guys see things that are like uh, carved in or this is burned in, just because it's handmade doesn't mean it can't be a bolo. So definitely keep that in mind because it's folk art. These bubble lights I got at a thrift store. I paid $6 for these and I sold these for a best offer of $95 plus shipping. So you plug them in and they bubble. Uh, these are Radco. This one right here is an air, air fix military figures unbuilt, almost complete. Got this at a garage sale for $3. I sold these for $37 plus shipping. The next item is this boat. I got it at a garage sale for a buck because they did not know if it worked. I went ahead and posted a video down here in the description that shows how it works and the condition that it's in. And I ended up selling that for $48.10 plus shipping. It is a vintage Remco radio control speedboat supercharged wildcat for parts or repair. So it worked, but I don't, it had some issues. This is an Ertl farm animals, horse, cow, dog figures. They are all marked E-R-T-L, which I guess is pronounced Ertl. I used to just spell it out, but I was told Ertl is the way to say it. So I'm going to go with that. Sold this for $40 and the buyer was all in for $54.44. I will tell you that a lot of times I part these figures out individually, especially like these bowls and stuff. But um, if I, let me see here, right here's my tape measure. So that kind of gives you an idea of size, but these are definitely something I bolo for, for sure. The next item here is this vintage brooch. It looks like it has an issue right here, but that is just a glare. A uh, person actually messaged me and was like, I'm gonna have to replace the stone. And I'm like, no, 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 no. See, you can see right here, it's fine. But that's one thing bad about um, lighting. Sometimes it can make things look like it's damaged when it's not. So I ended up selling this for $37 plus shipping. Uh, the buyer was all in for $45.21 and I got this for a dollar at a garage sale. All right, you guys, that was 23 big money bolos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Which big money bolo was your favorite? Um, there's so many that I like in this video. Um, Sometimes I amaze myself. Do you guys ever feel like that when you get the cha-ching and it's like a, a a big money item and you're like, I got that for $5. Yeah, it's so exciting. I love, love, love my job. So let me know in the comments, favorite place to source. How big is your money pile? Mine is a money mountain. Um, and how you found the channel. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.